Hey guys, Lugia Master here, and welcome to another episode of Legends of Yu-Gi-Oh's Worst. This is the series where I talk about terrible Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever printed out by Konami. What they do, what they can do, and what could have been done to make them better. So, these next three videos, including this one, are all going to be controversial, and here's why. I'm reviewing all of the Egyptian God cards from worst to best, not including <clears throat> Spearmote and Immortal Phoenix, as I feel like they are too good to be in this series. So, with that out of the way, today we're reviewing the worst of the three, the Winged Dragon of Ra. Now, the Winged Dragon of Ra is a divine attribute, divine beast effect type monster. That is weird how I just said that. Anyway, with zero attack and zero defense, with this effect, cannot be special summoned, requires three tributes to normal summon, and cannot be normal set. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. When normal summoned, other cards and effects cannot be activated. When this card is normal summoned, you can pay life points so you only have 100 left. This card gains attack and defense equal to the amount of life points paid. You can pay 1,000 life points, then target one monster in the field, and destroy that target. Now, what are some good things that I can say about this card? Well, for one, its destruction effect isn't once per turn. And that, that's pretty good. And that, that is a pretty good effect. I mean, granted, you gotta pay 1,000 life points, it should be 500, but whatever. But that's about it. I mean, I guess another positive is, I guess it can become a huge beat stick. I guess that's it. That's all I can say that's good about this card. Oh, it, it's normal summon also can't be negated, so you can't just, you know... I don't know. You just you just can't stop the summon of it. Well, you can't stop the normal summon. You can stop the special summon, but not the normal summon. Hmm. Okay. So, what are problems with this card? Well, first off, B cannot be special summoned. And here's why. Well, it's an Egyptian god card. It's a level 10 monster. Oh, which I, I did forget to <laughs> mention that too. It's a level 10 monster, all right, and it can't be special summoned. Granted, you can get around that with raw sphere mode, but if you don't have raw sphere mode and you don't have Immortal Phoenix, you can't special summon. You can't monster reborn it. You just can't. So I feel like that is too heavy of a restriction. Cause and here's why. So, if you were to special summon it from the grave, granted, when you special summon it, you won't be able to give it any attack or defense because of the effect, oh, it, where it's the attack and defense gain only happen when it's summoned, normal summoned, anyway, you can just pay the life points to destroy, that's the only reason why you want to summon it. Now, another problem is that this card has no self-protection whatsoever. So, if you have, theoretically, 8,000 life points, and you give it 7,900, it's a giant beat stick that can get over, possibly, that <clears throat> Ancient Gear Chaos Monster, or whatever it is, that fusion with 4,500. But that's all. And another thing, it can it can be destroyed by Mirror Force, it can be Kaijued, it can be Quaking, it can be Compulsed, it can be Raigekied, it can be Dark Hold. Did I say Kaiju? I don't know. I think I said Kaiju already. Anyway, so let's talk about what could have been done to make this... Oh, wait, before we get to that, let's address some issues here. Alright, so... When normal summon, other cards and effects cannot be activated. Now, from what I've seen is that people have interpreted this, uh, 
this part is the effect wrong as once you summon it, no other effects can be activated. Nothing can activate whatsoever. But here's the problem. If that were true, wouldn't that also mean the rest of Ra's effects wouldn't be able to work? Oh wait, it says other cards and effects. So only itself would be able to activate. That would be too... Um, I... Would that be too broken? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, and here's another problem with the Winged Dragon of Ra. Let's say you have less than 4,000 life points. Let's say you have 2,000. And you summon Ra. And you pay all but 100. You got a 1,900 monster that can't do anything. And by the time you summon this... You probably should have already won the game already if you've managed to summon this out and your opponent somehow lets you get all the monsters out to normal summon raw. Granted, it's normal summon can't be stopped, but oi. Anyway, what could have been done to make it better? First off, get rid of that cannot be special summon clause. Next, Let's do, let's, let's, um, change the, hey, 1,000 life points to 500. Um, what else? Um, mm, I guess that's all I really have to say. <laughs> now, another thing I'd like to address. Once it's summoned, alright, you can, you can't compulse it in response to the normal summon. You can't. But after it's normal summoned, wait, um, a little bit after it's summoned, you can compulse it. Now, this, what, what needs to be said? This card is just trash. Oh yeah, also, give it self-protection. Give it, let, let's say, cannot be destroyed by card effects, cannot be destroyed by battle. It can, it would, it's, it's, it wouldn't be the best protection it would still have self protection but it still wouldn't protect itself from being kaijued or quaking or pulse you get the point it would have it would be a better card than what it is now i'm not trying to make it meta defining i'm just trying to make it better and really and this is why this card is the worst out of all three Egyptian god cards. So, yeah, there is my review of the Winged Dragon of Raw. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Creeper Cat Army. I will see you later, recruits. Peace out.